Rodera from Formula TV Spain. Um, first of all, um, this season jumps uh, almost like 130 years, which is uh, a really long time. So, how does affect uh, both Brother Day and and the and the Marcel? Are they the same as they were before, or has their situation changed? I'd say that well, I play a different person entirely. There, there's been a few generations of Cleons that have. Um, ruled and and died, um, and uh, and I think this Cleon is responding to a a uh, an empire in decline, and he's responding to it by putting on a strong front and pursuing a marriage that might end the dy the genetic dynasty and return the empire to the hands of the empresses that had ruled previous to the genetic dynasty, so. He's, um, uh, you know, he's looking for change. He wants to um, enact change and be the last Cleon. Um, and I think that might be a problem for Miss... Yes. For me, Miss Miss Demersel, Miss Demersel is not happy. You know, she's she's lived for twenty five thousand years, so she's the same character, but. But uh, where the empire is now is much more messier and chaotic, and that's why I think we also see a harder version of herself. Uh, herself because she needs to, she needs to work hard to keep. She, her mi mission is the same since uh, whenever Cleon the First kind of programmed her to to protect the genetic dynasty, and her mission is is still the same. But we we get to see her use maybe more extreme ways to control the empire this like year. <laughs> like, no, no, it's okay, let's not talk. <laughs> and also we get to see her like hundreds of years before when like when she became uh, part of this little mm -hmm. dysfunctional family. And there we get to explore a different side of her, kind of like kind of maybe something behind that stone phase where 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 she's more vulnerable and stuff. But yeah. But she's she's the same. But uh, but she's kind of everything. What happened season one? Everything kind of affects her, and she won't forget. She doesn't forget anything. But she's the, the same person. I have a great time playing this character. I have a great time working with Laura in this relationship because it's so enigmatic. There's so many different layers to it. There's so many different ways the relationship reveals itself throughout the season. Um, uh, I mean, and really, episode to episode, you kind of learn something new about this very peculiar pairing mm. um, that they're in. Um, yeah, I have a great time playing Cleon. I think that the it's uh, a, an the character entertains me. I find I find him um, I find his bombastic. Uh, you know, I don't know. How do we how do we say it? He's just like one of those guys who just takes up all the air in the room <laughs> all the time, <laughs> always. But he's not really as aware as he as 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 he should be <laughs> of what, what could benefit him. So um, thank you so much, guys. I ran out of time, but it was really interesting listening to you, even though it was just one question. <laughs> but you responded to everything I could wish for. So thank you so much and congrats for your work. And have a really nice day. Cool. Thank, Thank you, you, you too. Have well. a lovely day.